the spirit of this world today is globalization. And globalization is, there are no more nations. But uh, I want to remind you that when Paul was in the middle of Athens, speaking to the very, very wise Greek people, he said to them something very interesting. He said, God, uh, take a look at this. Verse 26, we can read. He has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings. God created nations and even appointed their boundaries. When someone says, there's no more borders, there's no more boundaries, there's no more nations. Well, no, God actually made them. And Paul stands in the, in the heart of Athens to tell those wise Greek, God made it. Now, when is the first attempt to cancel all of this and to come together all the people? Tower of Babel, the Tower of Babel, the first globalist agenda was to replace God. And it's also now the same thing. Actually, by ways of creating nations, look, what's the name of God? The God, praise ye, Lord, praise ye all you nations, he says, all you nations. God desires that the nations will know him. He, 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 he take pleasure in the fact that people that have pre-appointed boundaries worship him. And he speaks to nations as nations. If Egypt is not going to come, the blessing will not come upon Egypt. This and that, he's not talking to the world as a, as a planet. <laughs> he's talking to nations. His judgment is also upon nations as well. But nations are something that you cannot dismiss and you cannot ignore. And uh, even the description of the future wars, specific nations are going to come. You know when we will not have nations uh, really... Um, mention in, 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 at the very end of the, of the millennial kingdom, Satan will gather his minions from the four corners of the world. Then you don't see men mentioning of nations anymore. Alpha.